Okay, hello to everyone, or better say Ni Hao, because I am in China and it's my first vlog from here. Oh my god, look how cute it is! It's like a cheesecake, I think the texture will be like super nice, and uh, latte. And I'm sitting in super nice small cafeteria. Everything inspired by Harry Potter. I don't know why, but it's super nice. Everything looks super cute. So, as I said, I'm already in China. I'm in the city Guangzhou. I don't know if you ever heard about this city, but like all uh, like big fashion manufacturers, brands, they're located here, like Shein, you know, all these brands. And uh, I'm so excited to work here. So tomorrow is Monday and my agents already invited me to meet each other and they already have some work for me. So I don't know if I will have like some free time to explore the city. And now it's my first day here and I need to take advantage of it. So I'm going to explore it today. But all this my first week in China. I will try to vlog it, like to record all like nice moments and uh, i'm so excited to share with you my first vlog from china uh, <laughs> i think this is like a shop for pets i love it love the idea <laughs> so in this home we have our model apartments where i live with another models from my model agency Tell me if you would love to see like room tour from our model apartment or something like that. I will record it then. And next to the platform they have toilets and uh, nursery rooms. Like in every station, can you imagine? I love it a lot. They care a lot about people. Oh my god, so beautiful. I just had the creepiest moment of my life because I am uh, here, it's kind of like touristic place in Guangzhou, embankment of Guangzhou, it's so beautiful here, a lot of people, and then just, I don't know, for no reason, one Chinese man started to follow me, and I was like, what's wrong with you? But, I don't know. First dinner at Chinese restaurant. This is some noodles with shrimps. Looks nice actually. Okay, second plate is here. It's like buns with a beef, something like that. Mm -hmm. Ni hao to everyone. Oh my god, it's Monday morning and I feel terrible because I have like the craziest jet lag in my life. I mean, now it's uh, like night time in Barcelona and I'm feel like super super crazy sleepy and I couldn't sleep all night oh my god and uh, I already have today like fittings, castings, everything so I need to look like nice and fresh and I don't <laughs> because I didn't sleep oh my god I hope it will change tonight I'm so tired and I'm suffering from jet lag a lot. I didn't sleep all night and during the day I had like first meeting with the agency, I had fitting for a brand and I also had a casting and I'm so so tired like I want to sleep but I will not <laughs> because I need to adapt to new schedule, I need to adapt to a new time zone so I just need to suffer a little bit but good news i'm going on a date tonight <laughs> with a chinese man can you imagine so we'll take a small rest right now and we'll prepare for our dinner day tonight oh my god i'm so excited i never been on a date with a chinese man <laughs> we'll see so the first dish it's tofu right tofu tofu so second plate it's chicken <laughs> not spicy <laughs> so third plate this is shrimps with rice yeah okay and the last probably 
uh, it's like scallops with rice as well. Oh my god, it looks so yummy. Oh my god, the date with Chinese guy was so fun, guys. <laughs> I'm under shock, to be honest. I didn't have any expectations, you know, and it was super fun, super nice. And mm, like, he's a real man, like super gentleman. Oh god, it was super nice. I'm so excited to see him again. And uh, who knows, he taught me some Chinese traditional things. Uh, we tried some traditional Chinese food, so it was super interesting and super super nice. Wow, <laughs> I I like my my days <laughs> in China. <laughs> this is how returning home. I bought some sweets for my neighbors. There is like a lock system. Hi, hola. Did you recognize me? No. Por qué? Por favor. <laughs> and we are going home to take a rest because I'm still suffering from that one. <laughs> Big time in metro, like it's a, a waiting line to go right to the train station in the metro in China. So fun. Unexpected shopping time. So it's not a dress today. I want to buy a camera like this one, Osmo Pocket 3. Like my friend, he is like a famous vlogger, Sasha Rachmanov. Uh, he, recommend, he, he recommended me to buy this uh, camera to record like some interesting vlogs from China and like from my daily life. So I think it's gonna be like a nice investment and I will do even more content for you. And this camera is super cute, super small, super compact. And I'm so excited to create some content with this camera so this is the camera i want to buy i think it's perfect like to record videos and maybe I even can use it uh, on a casting so no one will see the time recording <laughs> it's not really like nice idea to be honest i can have problems because of that but whatever my first cultural shock in china i just had it right now in taxi because i pay for taxi three euros for 20 minutes, 20 minutes right from city center to my apartment. Three euro, can you imagine? In Barcelona it could be, I don't know, at least 15 euros. Oh my God, I love China. <laughs> Fasting outfit, all black today. Why not? It was such a crazy quest, but I did it! Oh my god, it was the only one available camera like in old Guangzhou, but I did it and I'm super happy. And you know what it means? It means that it will be more really nice and interesting content for me. So stay with me. <laughs> Oh my god, I just can't, it's so beautiful here. I'm literally just went out from the shopping mall and I was like <laughs> so surprised and happy like a baby. Wow, China is amazing. Wow. <laughs> Look at this food court, like I'm in a shopping mall right now to do some shopping and wow. A lot of things to choose to eat to drink so guys this is how chinese fast food looks like look this amazing fresh like sushi and some uh, takoyaki and some tea it cost me uh, around like eight euros can you imagine oh my god guys it's so tasty like super fresh sushi and everything is super fresh super cheap <laughs> like in europe in spain i will pay around 20 euros you know just for small sushi set and drink so cheers for china <laughs> i like it here so much already <laughs> So unfortunately I didn't sleep all night again. I'm so dizzy with this jet lag. I don't know what to do. I think I still need time. But there is no time, I need to work. I'm going to, to take my new snapshots. It's 10 a.m. And then I will go 
to have a casting so it is what it is not the most like the freshest look i ever had you know but we need to work <laughs> Good morning world! So, I'm still suffering from jet lag, but uh, I'm very productive. I just went to my model agency, we took new model snapshots and today I have a very important casting. Stay with me and I will show you this brand. You all know this brand, so I'm so so excited. I really want to take this casting, you know. Whew. I'm going home to prepare myself and rest a little bit before the casting. Casting was so weird, like they said that my makeup it's not good, like they wanted to look different and I don't know for me it's so confusing because uh, I'm a model and I made this makeup just to see you how I look like with makeup and I'm not like a professional makeup artist and you didn't say me in advance what you wanted to see on me like certain exact like makeup makeup style it was super weird so they didn't like <laughs> they didn't like my makeup like what <laughs> um, well i still don't know if i like take this casting or not we'll see but uh, like the feedback from the like casting director is super super weird i was thinking that like in a casting the main topic is to see how clothes fit a model and uh, clothes was perfect on me and they told me that like my shapes, my parameters, like my size is so good, my body shape is so good for the like closest line, but my makeup it's not good. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Oh my god, I just tried to deliver like food and some grocery to my apartment and it was such a quest because uh, all application it's in Chinese of course so I had to take a screenshots of like literally every page and um, like to put it into a translator to understand what they want from me <laughs> but seems like I did it well I'm waiting for my delivery let's see uh, if I understand correctly like courier has to be here in uh, 13 minutes so excited new step in my life in china look it's actually like super crazy you can you can order here like everything and it will come to you like in 20 minutes like grocery food uh, i don't know anything for home like <laughs> literally everything but as you can see everything is in chinese i also ordered food from here like some chinese dinner at home and let's check my today chinese dinner which i also ordered through application oh my god i'm so proud of myself so first of all the first thing is tea it's like normal green tea a bit cold next a lot of everything the first one it's mm, gyozas like dumplings this thing i have no idea what is this but looks like sausages and here's some pasta with beef i think it's amazing but it's literally like two dinners <laughs> i mean for today and maybe for tomorrow so let's try it i hope it will be tasty bon appetit bien uh, enjoy your meal I don't know how to say bon appetit in Chinese, I'm sorry. <laughs> the only thing I know how to say in Chinese is ni hao, wo xi, po li, and that's it. But the most interesting thing is that here in Guangzhou, in the city where I'm staying, they don't speak traditional Chinese, they speak Cantonese. So <laughs> imagine I was learning like these two phrases so hard and then I came here and I just realized that here they speak like another Chinese. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, ciao. Good morning world. So we have two news. One 
is that I got a job and I'm going to Shenzhen to city next to Guangzhou and Hong Kong to have a photo shooting there for swimwear brand and the bad news it's literally 5 30 am like super early morning and I will go to this city to Shenzhen the driver will drive me there it will take around two hours so probably I will have my sleep in the car <laughs> I'm going to prepare some breakfast and I will go to work <laughs> Today location having shooting here. We have really really beautiful location for today photo shooting. There is such a beautiful beach side. Oh my god. When we just arrived it was so so cold here and I was like no way it's gonna be outdoor swimwear shooting. <laughs> but then like the weather became like super nice, super hot, super sunny and now it's literally like day on the resort, you know, in a nice uh, swimwear. <laughs> Not a joke, it's a dream. <laughs> Maybe say hi. <laughs> you go up. Huh? <laughs> we are all working on the result. You can do it. <laughs> so there is a references for shooting like poses, photo, accessories for each item so the team is very well prepared I love it oh my god this place is so beautiful I don't know I just can't explain just look at this oh my god <laughs> I feel so happy about my first job in China oh my god <laughs> and it's just the beginning so it's almost 10 p.m. I just came back home. It was a long day, <laughs> but now it's time to rest. I have my hot bubble tea. I'm gonna finish it, then I will go to take a shower and then I will go to sleep. <laughs> Hello to everyone from my amazing room in my amazing Chinese apartment. So I slept like I don't know 10 hours I feel alive <laughs> and today it's a nice day because it's a Saturday and it means that it's like exactly one week since I moved to work as a blue size model for China so I'm so excited it's just the beginning and this week was like super productive super nice because of it I asked my agency to give me like day off this Saturday to celebrate it a little bit and uh, like a Chinese guy I went um, on a date with, he invited me for a second date and today he's gonna take me out to Chinese zoo <laughs> it's so cute because I told him that I want to see some Chinese panda and he was like okay <laughs> don't say anything more <laughs> like today we are going to Chinese zoo and I will take some photo and video from here as well so we have my uh, black and white uh, outfit I will show you soon in details and I'm so so excited because uh, I literally was dreaming you know about uh, seeing in person in reality like pandas from China in China <laughs> Ta -da! so this is my outfit for a date today it looks so classy I love it so much this custom it's like skirt and this nice shirt so it's from the brand uh the brand name is bella barnett and i love this brand a lot uh, i already have a lot of dresses from this brand and the quality customer service everything is on really like high high level and uh, as you can see this brand is like curvy girls friendly so if you want to take a look which dresses they have and everything please do it and feel free uh, to to try like for example now I'm wearing like L size but usually I wear an order like XL size um, if you like anything and you want to to make an order there 
there is like some additional discount code which you can apply and have like additional discount like uh, you will have minus 15% of your order. I hope my date guy today gonna love my outfit. If not, it will be our last date. <laughs> So after all day spending in Zoo, we, we are in a restaurant now to have a dinner and it's like a super nice place uh, with Chinese cuisine. It's really, really something new and interesting, so I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I want it very hot. So we have here some like beef, bacon, I don't know. And we have a boiling like soup. And we literally just put beef here. I put it here. <laughs> Can I? I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's it. And then we are waiting. After our amazing date, I feel super nice and happy. I don't know why, <laughs> but I really like this feeling, you know. And um, I just realized that yes, it's Saturday evening, and I came like to China like exactly one week ago. So this video, I want to end this video like this <laughs> because it was like all my first week here in China, and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you have any questions about anything what you saw like in this video, feel free to to text uh, like under this video in the comments any questions, any feedbacks. It was my like I'm still trying to be a YouTube blogger, <laughs> but I really like this process and I'm super motivated to continue doing content to post it here and I will be super grateful if you will support me. Thank you so much, thank you a lot. I promise to prepare a lot of interesting content from China, something about modeling and um, hope to see you soon. Let's be in touch. Ciao, besitos. Thank you. <laughs>